Hey y'all, it's been a minute and I think I'm slightly crooked. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, I also colored my hair, didn't turn out the way I wanted, but oh well. <laughs> so I've crawled out of my cave once again to give you another um, half-baked video. <laughs> Maybe you'll get another one in like three more months, I'm sorry. But I've been thinking about the culture war and why the right is pretty much losing and why we really shouldn't be because we are the counterculture. We are the norm and the counterculture all at once, which is a really awesome spot to be in, in, in my opinion, because let's see. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm already worked up laughing about this. And I got my notes right here in front of me. Well, first things first, we need to stop getting all defensive and stop being on the back foot to the left and stop pretty much reacting to everything they do. Can we just like be our own thing? <sighs> Can we just do stuff and not like think about what the left does all the time? Especially because, like, back onto, like, the norm, we are the counterculture, we are the norm at the same time. For one, you see a lot of boys my age go straight to the right. Not to mention just the shift in the Overton window. Things that you wouldn't question nowadays are like, oh, you're racist for even thinking that. You're sexist for even thinking that. You know, because I remember back when I was a kid in the 2000s, people weren't that fucking wild. But, <laughs> whatever. I think we also start need to claiming things as right wing just because they're normal. Like, remember all those articles where like camping is like hike, uh, camping and hiking is white supremacy. It's like, you know what? If white people primarily do it, maybe that is a white thing, and we claim it. <laughs> maybe being outdoorsy is a right wing thing, and we claim it. Which I do want to briefly touch on before I get into the whole outdoorsiness. We also have the power of memes on our side. <laughs> you know the vine? Don't fuck with me. I have the power of God and anime on my side. Anime, sadly, is now slightly going right wing, but it's always, or left wing, but it's always been generally right leaning within at least the framework that we think of. You know, being self sufficient, independent, having friends and family, and why am I looking out the window? <laughs> <clears throat> now, I also want to slip in real fast. I really like the artist Johnny. If you've seen my music playlist, you you notice that. And um, I secretly think she is based with songs like Fuck the Hollywood Cult, Thought Criminal, um, what's the other one? Um, I'm blanking at the moment, I'm sorry. I didn't write them down specifically. And back onto the creator-owned vibe, what are some of the very Americana things that we can think of that can we claim as right-wing? Like hiking, camping, Cowboys, bike, bikers, motorcyclists, and everything. Um, <laughs> I'm just like ranchers. Like you remember, um, not necessarily Reed Drummond, but just the. I feel like there was a rancher craze a little while back ago, like about a decade ago. I know Reed Drummond primarily, I think, did this, but I think it also followed along with like Yellowstone and shit like that. Just this kind of like country esque, almost like neo Amish. I, I don't know. <laughs> Am I the only one who remembers that? I'm, or am I just making shit up? <laughs> now, um, one also thing I think we should really claim as right wing and... Oh, hello. <laughs> Primarily, oh, what's the word? Not I idolize, but make our aesthetic. The American badass. Like, like a biker or a cowboy, rancher, um, a steel mill worker, something kind of just like strapping, hard, you know, hard working, middle class, fuck yeah, I'd go to the bar and drink with my buddies afterwards and we're all singing songs and shit, singing good old 70s and 80s songs, country songs, shit like that. Um, Teddy Roosevelt vibes. I've always fucking loved Teddy Roosevelt. I always believed in his, uh, what is it? Walk so softly and carry a big stick. Badass. I always loved that. He <laughs> like, I thought he's probably the most badass president and I feel like we should really, uh, encapsulate that because did, wasn't he also shot and just kept carrying on like oh i'm fine <laughs> um he i think was the one that charged up the hill in cuba can't remember it's been a very long time since i learned this um but just his whole everything he also created the national parks if i remember correctly there's one like over there i used to live in it <laughs> also just being the this is now right wing, right wing train, comedy, comedy shifted that way. Now I also hate that the woke mob has made us 
afraid to even say shit and especially like if you pop off like that one comedian i don't remember his name who made the george floyd joke joke which was hilarious <laughs> he would have robbed your asses too yes um he kind of did like a half apology like i'm not apologizing to you i'm apologizing to the family it's like bro just don't say anything it's a joke it's not only was it years ago but also like I don't know what his family would have thought of. <laughs> Skin folk and kin folk. That's it. But to wrap this up, I'm just now scattered right now. I think the right should just not focus on whatever the fuck the left does and just be cool, be normal, be ourselves, be American. You know what I mean? So with that, I think I'm going to fuck off. I'm going to go say hello to my family today. And um, yeah. Vote Trump.